Hello everybody, this is Miss again, and this is your daily reading. This is going to be a general read. It's not going to resonate with everybody, so do keep that in mind. I hope everybody's doing well <clears throat> and getting ready for Christmas. So, let, uh, let's get started here, and this is for the collective. Shuffled up here. For today's reading, I'm going to switch it up and do a nine card <clears throat> spread, a nine card square. Okay, let's see. We have the Six of Swords in the center. Three of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Huh, another eight. Eight of Wands. We have Seven of Cups. And we have the chariot. Ace of Wands. Ten of Cups. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, under the deck we have the Empress. Beautiful energy. Anyhow, what we have here is we have somebody in the process of moving moving on. Somebody's moving away from a an emotional blockage and an emotional situation that really had somebody stressed out. And somebody's putting up blocks themselves. Here's what I feel is going on. I feel like somebody may have found out about a third party that may have been obscured, may have been hidden. It was like things were not as they seemed here. And <clears throat> somebody found out about it. And and what I they and whoever this is, it feels like that they were they did what they needed was necessary. As hard as it was, they felt that they had to walk away and put up a block. Somebody may have blocked this person who ended up bringing an extra person into the relationship, okay? Um, because I feel like somebody was, uh, this, this is like window shopping here. Somebody was window shopping and, you know, there was a lot of high sexual energy with this third party. And somebody got involved and kind of started steering towards this third party. And I think the other person in this commitment has decided, okay, I have to walk away from this. I can't deal with this anymore. This this is just way too much. And it's almost like the chariot. What I'm feeling here is that, that as... You were walking away. Now, keep in mind, this could be vice versa. But as you were walking away and you put that this person came in hot pursuit of you and you felt the need to have to block them or me. And now where you are, what you are doing is you are looking for a brand new start. You're, you're being very cautious here, but you are finding your ten of cups. You're finding your happiness. Um, there may even be children involved. Maybe you're finding your happiness and refuge in your children. I'll move these up a little bit because it doesn't look like they're completely in frame. I don't know why. Okay. But <clears throat> you definitely had this new idea, this new passion, this new start. And this is where you're headed into. Right now, you, you're at a place where you're going away from the window shopper. And you are progressing and you are moving forward. 
okay? You are definitely moving in the right direction. Um, I feel like you're leveling up in life, actually. Because um, Spirit is showing me that this could have been a blessing in disguise, okay? And you're walking away from this situation because you were not being emotionally fulfilled. It's like you were being robbed, is what I'm getting here. Um, you, you were the mother, you were, or you were the nurturer, and you feel like you were played for a fool, but not anymore. You're you're on to the idea. You are um, being very, very much in control. Um, I think you've analyzed this situation and you've come to the conclusion that you need to walk and you are evolving as a person. Your, your life is evolving. And with this wheel of fortune, it, it feels like, it feels like almost destiny that this was supposed, this was meant to happen. I'm going to get some clarifier cards, but my suspicion is that I feel like this person held you back in life anyhow. It feels as though that you, you had hopes and dreams that you were wanting to accomplish and you were unable to do so. And, and then this other person gets their attention, draws them away. You start moving on. They say, oh crap. My stability is leaving, and I think they pursued you a lot, and you had to block them, probably block them on social media, block them on your phone, um, send all their emails to, to the spam folder, the whole nine yards. Because I'm seeing this crow, it's like crowing in your ear, nonstop, apologies, out the wazoo. And you weren't hearing it. But I feel as though that you are moving towards happiness here. And um, this bottom line is really like, I look at it as the future. I This nine card spread, um, there's another spread that I like to do that I was taught for my monthly readings that I'm going to be doing. And I'm looking at this nine card as just a snapshot of that. Okay. So anyhow... We're going to get some clarifiers. Okay, we have the three of cups on the three of one on three of pen, um, pentacles. So the, yeah, that is definitely telling me that there was multiple people involved. There was a third party there. Nine of wands with the eight of cups. This is like you getting to a certain place. Is all the energies accumulating? Everything that has happened just one thing after another piling on you and you were at a point where okay i need to walk away nines are also nine of ones also to me represents somebody who may have been injured but they're not down and out um <clears throat> they're back up the fight again but i feel like you're fighting for yourself okay i feel as though that um you are again i when I, I see a wall there, so I feel as though that you did put a block on them. We have the King of Pentacles. You had to block them for your own stability, okay? you It's like, in order for you to get yourself back together, you had to cut off communication altogether with them. We have the Queen of Wands here with the Seven of Cups. Queen of Wands in this, it's not always this, but sometimes I see the Queen of Wands as the other woman. Or the other man, gender doesn't matter. But being as is in the Seven of Cups, and Seven of Cups, I immediately I saw window shopping in the, in that particular deck. I feel as though, yeah, there somebody was window shopping. Um, I feel as though your person did not was not planning on acting, that it just happened. We have the Five of Pentacles with the Six of Swords. You know that it... That is about the challenges that you are going away from those challenges. You are, you're leaving somebody in the dust, in the cold. Well-deserved also. Um, 
Got the Three of Pentacles again with the with the Chariot. So this is you charging away from that third party situation. But at the same time that your person is chasing you, chasing after you, it's like they want their cake and eat it too. I think they want both of you. We have the Nine of Swords with the Ace of Wands, which is telling me, um, you know, this is, you know, st starting over is going to be cause some anxiety. But <clears throat> it's all the mental pressure that's come that has come to an end and come to a head, and you have decided, okay, it's time that I follow my passions, get my Ten of Cups, and we have the Hanged Man here with the Ten of Cups. This is, you're no longer stuck. You're seeing things in another um, perspective, in another viewpoint. And you are not going to allow this now or soon to be X to be, I think they're an X because up here I think you've already walked away and in the recent past you have blocked them but presently they are trying to find ways to get your attention to try to get you back because like i said they want their cake and eat it too and it doesn't work like that they can't have both okay and but i feel as though you're not going to let this person distract you and we have the eight of swords with the knight of pentacles okay you know, there are challenges and blockages still ahead, but you're not down and out. I feel as though you're moving forward cautiously, carefully, and very calculated. Um, we saw Queen of Swords energy, and she plans things out and calculates things. Okay? Um, Four of Pentacles, it's about your stability, yep. Okay, and being stuck, ending it, having the willpower to end it, <clears throat> and find your true love, your King of Cups here. And you're able to finally relax and take a break from things. Um, and you're not ex settling, you're not accepting just any offer here. You are loving yourself. You are trusting your intuition. You are manifesting your dreams. And, you know, your payout is coming. You're going to get your just rewards. You've done, you've really calculated things. You've planned things out. You strategized how, where you were heading in the future. And um, even though right now you may feel like you're juggling things, but that is coming to an end. And then, again, we have the Wheel of Fortune. It's turning in your favor. And you are evolving and moving forward here on a new path. So this does all feel feels fantastic here. Um, and I am going to get Oracle card here for you. But yeah, don't unblock them. Whatever you do, do not unblock them. They don't need to know where you're going, what you're doing, right? And you're definitely breaking free from that trap, that mental trap. I think that at one point in time, you're in a space where you thought, you know, you can't do without them. But you are going to find out very soon. You are going to do very well without them. You can do it. Archangel Michael. Couldn't say it better myself. You can do it. You can make it. You can manifest what it is you want out of life. Clear and shield your energy. That is shielding yourself and shielding your energy from this person. Go now and persistence. You know, they are persistent, 
but you knew that know that it's time to go and you have to shield your energy and be persistent you have to be persistent with shielding your energy and keeping them blocked you can do this this is what needs to be done for you to move forward and that's what i have for you okay this is what and i do thank you for watching i love you all Please make sure you subscribe, share, and comment, and I'll see you next time. Blessed be.